Hey YouTube, this is Matt. So I am here with Andres. Hey. So we're going in blind. I'm walking through a property that uh, we just did demo on, and we were starting to do the walkthrough. I'm like, you know, we need a video of this so you can see my reaction, and Andres can give me a real tour. So you guys are gonna come along on a tour on a property that's just had the demo, the interior demo done, and we're about to do a. Um, we're gonna talk about the plan for doing the renovation. So take it away, Andres. Give us the tour. Well, first of all, I wish. You guys could smell. Oh yeah, I, it'd, right? it'd, it'd be great. It'd be great if YouTube had a smell button. Yeah, you know, I just just it smells like. But that's a like, good sign. Yeah, that's a good sign to me. So as smelly as it is, as look bad as it is, it's it's good to me. Yeah. So as you guys can see here, now is everything open? I yeah. usually like open to, floor plan. Yeah. yeah I like it. <laughs> I usually like to demo it first. Yeah. So the GC can come and see exactly what he's looking at. Right. So we can see the yeah, beams. It's smart to open everything up for the level of renovation that we do on these on these Philadelphia properties. It's good to just open the whole property up yeah. so that you can you can see these you know some of these beams need to get sistered or replaced or yeah. you can address structural issues. Before we go any further, real quick, we bought this property for 250k. We're gonna put. 115, I don't know, in the rental, 115 or so. It depends on what decision we made, if we're gonna do a roof deck or not. Maybe so a do, roof deck. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll see. Uh, if we don't do a roof deck, it'll be 115,000 in rental, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and then our out sale will be in the neighborhood of four... 495. 495. So, plus. pretty good deal, right? Um, so I'm excited about this one. So, okay, carry on, continue. Okay. So, open floor plan here. So, yeah, it's an open floor, floor plan, so my GC can show, as you can see over here, this is like insane to me because they're like two by fours. Right. And it's not holding much. Yeah. So all this of is, this needs to come out. Right. So this drop ceiling comes out, but the ceiling mm -hmm. above it's in good shape. It is in good shape. So we're we can gonna take show this it to you guys. Down. Yeah. So this yeah. is gonna be a beautiful kitchen. Mm -hmm. The issue that we have here, Matt, this like oh, a big uh, conversation. I'm showing it to you for the first time. So this entrance here to the basement is in the yeah. kitchen, which kills the, the kitchen layout completely. So we're gonna and move it. We're gonna extend the... So we're gonna move the base probably over here? Yeah, it's gonna be over here. Okay. This now is 30 inches. We're gonna replace and by code 36. So the entrance is gonna be both, you know, on the same side. Mm -hmm. Cool. And okay. that big window over there is also <laughs> going to be replaced to a smaller window this so window we can right have right. cabinets at the bottom. Got it. Yeah, and this, this window right here, guys, if you look at that, this is a kitchen killer. And we've had these in other properties. You either want to raise that up to the point where you can have, you can't have lower cabinets below that window, right? Yeah. If you don't do something with that, your kitchen's going to be funky. And a lot of people like to have they're just oh, home buyers like to have cabinets all the way across with the window, typically probably gonna place the sink right in front of the window, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I want also something symmetric. So it's completely ah. asymmetric there. I want yeah. something symmetric so I don't have uh, asymmetric cabinets on yeah. top and at the bottom I also have a symmetry going on there. Right. On this one, we're gonna probably do a um, island over here in the middle Whoa. because I really like how big those windows Look over here on yeah. the side are. Yeah, you gotta play these windows in yes. with a nice little island right here. Yeah. You guys, you totally see it, don't you? You're gonna do the whole, you're gonna, you can totally picture it in your head. We're gonna do a little island here and then have these windows here uh, gonna spill onto that with, of course, granite all the way across, yeah, right? Yeah, that's fine. You wanna it. take us upstairs real quick? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, are we like, I don't know if we can walk up these stairs if we find out that, well, we'll find out right now, right? Okay, totally trust those stairs, don't you? Okay, <laughs> okay. Right, let me turn the camera around. Oh man, look at this. Yeah. So, here we have a clear vision okay. about what, what's going to be. The so we have something funky going on here, guys. See this? Yeah. See this landing here? So it steps up here, and then it steps up here to this. So there's kind of a funky landing thing going on that we're going to yep. have our architect figure out with us, right? Yeah. So. so that's what we are discussing with him. If we need to level the entire second floor. Mm -hmm. And now, so if we can look at it, the roof, the yeah. slope. See the arc of the roof? Down. Right. Yeah. So if we do a roof deck, we yeah. need to do a floating roof deck. Ooh. Otherwise, we need to replace the entire roof. So yeah. the roof deck, the floating roof deck, will be sitting on both bricks. Right. 
so we don't need to replace the entire So thing. we're doing that on a job in Trenton where we're putting a piece of steel that spans from this side of the brick to that side of the brick. You know, it ain't cheap, but we have, we're putting in steel and a crane and everything like that to come and pick this piece of steel up to lop it onto this roof and it becomes a floating roof yes. deck. Yeah. Um, because in Jersey, it's a fire code that your roof deck actually can't touch the roof because oh. of fire penetration, Got it. right? Got and, it. and PA is a little different, but um, so it's interesting. Roof decks are a lot of value, guys. If you know, in, in urban environments like this, because from a roof deck here, you have a phenomenal yeah. view of downtown Philadelphia. It's, it's literally right here. Um, adds a ton of value to your property, and it's just a really cool thing to do um, for bragging rights, I guess. Uh, but it's, it costs a good bit, especially for what Andres is talking about. If you guys can pick up the pitch of this roof, I'll try and turn it. See how it starts here and rolls down like that? You, you need to, you can't, it's not a flat roof because so you can't just set a rooftop deck on top of it. Right. So, so we're going to figure that out, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to, you know, look, look around the comparables and, and uh. put it together. If the cost of doing the roof deck is equal to yeah. our return. So what's our final, is this going to be a 3-2 or a 2-2? Two, two so that, a... that is a good question that we need to run comps over here. Mm -hmm. Originally 3-2-1, three, uh, three, yeah. however, uh, we've been looking at comps that are 2-2-1 two, two, yeah. and they are almost the same price, yeah. but they're going faster. They're going... 2-2-1s two, two, are selling faster. Know, yeah. your, know your market, guys. It's another tip. Know your market. Know what's so, selling, what's not. Again, in other markets that I play in, if you don't have three bedrooms, you're not going to sell at all. But in Philadelphia, two bedrooms sell very quickly. We just listed, Andres and I just left a closing for yeah. a, two, a property that we just sold. Uh, there's a two bedroom, two and a half bed? Bed is right. exactly two, two bedrooms, right. uh, two and a half baths. Two bedroom, two and a half bath, yeah. one under contract, at full asking inside of 24 hours. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, and it's a two bedroom. Now, you do a property like that in other markets, you forget it. That's a rental, two bedroom. So anyway, so we're going to look at the market here and decide what yeah. we want to do. This afternoon. There you go. We'll let you know. Yeah. Uh, we've, and we've got this bump here. We're just yeah. we're gonna we're gonna leave so, this. We're gonna need so to do a step up. Our architect or... take a take a look at this over here. It's not holding anything, so we need to change it. He does depending on the direction that we take. We mm -hmm. might not even touch this because it's a lot of cost to raise or bring this down. Certainly. Yeah. So. You have to reframe that whole thing. It's a lot of wood, a lot of labor, oh, a lot yeah. of time. Time, time's the deal killer. Yeah. Right? So we are trying to figure out the best layout possible to make sure that we have closets in every single bedroom, and it's mm -hmm. a very nice space for Certainly. people can. Certainly, this would be a really big bedroom. If I mean, would this be like a full master by itself? If we that would be either a master and another bedroom over here, okay. or a master and the bathroom. That's a it. Master bathroom there you go. Here. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it from Philadelphia. Thank you, Andressa. High five. One we'll more. do another video for you guys soon to give you guys a project update. Talk to you soon. See you guys Bye. Soon. Bye. Bye.